Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another daily energy draw. Today we are doing things a little bit differently. Um, we are doing mini readings with some tarot decks. We'll be back next week with the regular daily energy draws. Feel free to check out the playlist for more timeless readings going back almost two years now, over 500 videos. So do make sure that you're checking that out. Um, see what resonates for you. Really beautiful messages coming through this week. I'm actually really glad that we're doing it this way, these little mini readings, because it's really beautiful energy that we are experiencing now and that we are heading into. We've been talking a lot over the past several months that we are in this, or we were in this period of transition, leveling up into the next phase of our ascension journey, leveling up into the next phase of our created realities. And these readings really are indicative of that transition, um, our own self-mastery, our own embodiment, our own integrated energy, and how that is creating new earth, that how that is creating an abundant new reality for us. Um, I know sometimes on this journey we tend to doubt. I know sometimes on this journey we tend to question if everything is real. I know I have certainly experienced that, especially experienced that over the past several weeks um, as some um, challenges and situations came up. But it is here. It is here. And what we were experiencing, especially with that full moon in Scorpio, was just trial by fire, tower moments to test our self-mastery, to test everything that we have learned to help us shift our perspective more from one of lack to one of love. And as we shift in that consciousness because that's what it is, it's a shift into higher consciousness, one of love, the more we do that, the more our physical reality really reflects that. And what we're seeing in these cards this week is is the creation of that, the creation of that new reality from that higher state of consciousness. So really amazing, amazing energies coming through here. So today we're going to be using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. And let's see what message Spirit has for us today. Like I said, we'll be back next week with uh, the regular readings. Um, but really glad that we're doing these today like this. Uh, really interesting energies. Kind of like mini readings to see where we are currently every day. Do you also make sure that you're checking out the social media platforms, the community posts here on YouTube, as well as Instagram and Facebook, because I am always posting more readings and check-ins, whether with regards to sacred partnership, ascension, or just daily guidance. So do make sure that you're checking that out as well. And let's get one more. Let's get one more. Okay, Spirit, what do you have to say for Thursday? What's the message for Thursday for my collective, please? What's the message for Thursday for my collective, please? Thursday. And one more. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Chariot, and we have the Nine of Wheels, the Nine of Pentacles, and I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesdays daily um, that the Nine of Cups, maybe it was even yesterday's, the Nine of Cups actually felt like Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, so, with this... Queen of Swords, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles energy, what I'm really feeling is in the start of the week, the new moon energy really felt meditative, really felt like rest, recuperation, really felt like we were in a period of integration and healing from everything that came up during the full moon in Scorpio. But as the energy of the new moon kind of passes, what I'm feeling is just this fire energy, um, this, this, wand energy actually it feels like forward momentum it feels like forward movement so it feels like we're transitioning out of the energy of rest and into the energy of action with the queen of swords here i do want to get a clarifier card of that um it feels like that that king of cups energy that we had yesterday um being in the energy of balance being in the energy of harmony clarify the queen of swords please Clarify the Queen of Swords. 
Okay, what I'm getting from this, and the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, yeah, what I'm getting from this is anywhere where you are maybe still out of balance with yourself, anywhere where you are still out of balance with your emotions, not fully connecting to your emotions, that King of Cups energy from yesterday, um, the Queen of Swords is coming in to say, free yourself from any toxic templates, free yourself from any repeating patterns, free yourself from anywhere where you are not in harmony with yourself to get back to that place of peace and reunion within the self. Um, this Six of Cups feels like um, union within the self, harmony within the self, connecting back to the self. Um, could even be some inner child connection so that you might do some inner child healing to reconnect back to yourself and the harmony and peace and love within yourself. So with the Queen of Cups here, it feels like um, there might still be some, um, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Swords here, it feels like there might be some uh, tinkering to be done. Uh, where any place where you still are in an energy of where old patterns, old habits, old conflicts within the mind um, might still be drawing you down, recognize your self-mastery. Recognize how you have conquered yourself. Um, recognize where you have reached that place of peace and balance within yourself. Now it's all about integrating. Now it's all about anchoring in. So if you do have any old patterns of thought or old perspectives crop up, um, that's just for you to recognize your own self-mastery and to detach from that energy, to um, recognize that as ego and to step back into the soul self, to step back into the, uh, the, the higher heart, to step back into the place of love, compassion, and peace. Um, to, to step back into the place of balance within yourself and to recognize that you had shed the old skin, you had shed the old layers, that you don't have to repeat those old patterns anymore. It's just coming up as like a test. It's just coming up for you to fully anchor in and integrate the new energy versus repeating the energy of the past. That's what this, this Eight of Swords really feels like. It feels like the past um, asking you to reconnect more fully to, to your higher self, to the harmony within. Um, in order to move forward, this Nine of Pentacles really feels like integrated energy. This really feels like the embodiment of your higher self, the essence of your higher self. No longer looking to the past, no longer looking outside of yourself. You have everything that you need within you. You have the ability to be materially and financially stable. You have the ability to be emotionally secure. You have the ability to be confident. You have the ability to be a master of yourself. And so with the chariot, this is really you taking the, the reins, taking control of yourself, balancing yourself out, moving forward into this integrated energy. So that's what this really feels like. It feels like um, the past several days we've been talking about really moving out of the old energy, integrating the new, allowing um, you to be in your divine essence, allowing you to embody that new sense of self, the new version of yourself, the higher consciousness version of yourself. If today, if there's anywhere where you feel like you are regressing, if you feel like you're faltering, if you feel like you're repeating old patterns, the Queen of Swords is here to step in and saying, no. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut out the Eight of Swords. Recognize the harmony within yourself. Reconnect back to yourself. Reconnect back to your inner child. Reconnect back to the soul of yourself. Reconnect back to your spirit team. Reconnect back to your true essence. Really feel that within yourself. Really stand firm in that. Don't let anything sway you. Don't let anything kind of pull you back down into lower vibration. That's where you step into your Queen of Swords energy and say no. Especially for your own thought processes that might pull you back down into lower consciousness. Old patterns, old templates, old ways of thinking. That's where you really step into your Queen of Swords energy and allow yourself to say, I have transcended this. I recognize this. I know this is ego. I know this is, you know, just more clearing. I am going to embody my higher self. That's where you take the reins. That's where you truly do embody that higher self in everything that you do. So a real energy of integration, a real energy of anchoring in and embodying everything that you have learned, everything that you have transitioned into, everything that you have overcome when it comes to old patterns, conditioning, and the ego. This is really you clearing out the old, 
really clearing out the old and affirming the new version of yourself. Really affirming the new version of yourself. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's daily. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and we'll see you then. Bye.